Okay, red is away from us. All right, yep. so red's the front of the quadcopter. You got your remote. Always turn your remote on first, on switch. Yep. So that'll come up. And then you're gonna have your battery, power. Plug that in. You hear the beat up, chi beep up chime? ESD should start beeping. Make sure you have a receiver light on your satellite receiver. Okay. You have your safety switch. Push and hold. You hear the beep, it'll turn a solid red. And then you can't see it very well, but if you could, there was, you can see the light for the flight controller. Okay. Solid green uh, means um, ready to arm with GPS. Blue means ready to arm, no GPS. Okay. Uh, so that will be the light down here. And then once you get your light, sometimes it's better to let it sit for a minute, let it just get a bunch of GPS towers, you know, okay. and that doesn't hurt anything. When you're ready to arm it, it's like this stick, you hold it to the right for five seconds. You hear the arm chime. Okay. And it's ready to start up. That's simple. And then to disarm it, hold it to the left for two seconds. You hear the disarm chime, you're good to go. Okay. So, and then nothing will come from the... Until you do bottom right again. Until you arm it again. So it's disarmed, can't do any harm. Um, when you go to shut it off, you disarm it. I do it, you press and hold the safety switch until it disarms. Should start, the ESC should start beeping. And then you just unplug the battery. And turn off the radio last. Yep, so unplug the battery. Radio's still on. Turn off radio last. Okay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. So, and then if you want, I can record one and do in the flight mode. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it still going? Yep. Okay, so for flight modes, the only two switches you're going to need to know are these two. Your F mode and your gear. All away from you, but you want to make sure all switches are away, is stabilized mode. Take your gear switch and you flip it to one. And that's loiter or position hold. So okay. if you have a GPS signal, it'll just hold uh, its its position. And then if you wanted to do um, an altitude hold, is position one. And then if you want to do a return to launch, an alternate way is to go to position two. So and then to go back, you just throw it all the way back. That's stabilized. For your emergency, like return to launch, it'll be this switch. You just flip it all the way down. It'll start return to home. If you want to take it out of return to launch, you need to flip it from like stabilized or loiter to a, to another flight mode and then back again. Back so again. if I flip this, this is not going to take it out. I'm going to have to come over here and say loiter trigger stabilized. Trigger another function. Yeah. So you got to okay. trigger some other flight mode to bring it out of that mode. Okay. Or else it's because it's not going to respond to that. Okay. So, and alternately, you can always turn the controller off, which should initiate the fail safe of return to launch. Okay. So, but not the best way that I recommend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Pretty much it. That's all your flight modes. So, not really. So this will be the maiden flight of uh, with the GoPro gimbal with the GoPro gimbal on uh, yet to be named hexcopter. <laughs> All systems go. And I guess, like they said at the Challenger flight, all oh no, Challenger go with throttle up. <laughs> but that one crashed. <laughs> let's let's not hope this hope this doesn't happen. With this one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record into the sun. Yeah. This is our first flight doing the auto tune. Let me know when you're gonna do a setting. All right, so this is going to switch from stabilized to loiter. 
So that's loiter mode or position hold. And which one did you do? Flip okay. the gear up to one. All right. So then you notice that it's going to just hold position. That is pretty steady. Yeah. That is very steady. So then we'll go to altitude hold, which is F mode to one. So not a position hold, it's just going to hold altitude, so I no longer have control with the throttle stick. Okay. I'm sorry, you do, you can change it if you want, but when I move around now, it's not going to lower or increase altitude. And you have to put it into that to do your auto tune. So, we are now going to bring it down a little bit, and I'm actually going to try to position the trims better. Okay. So I'm probably not going to even do it. So we'll switch back from altitude hold from 1 to 0, which will put the quad back in loiter. And now it will just hold position. Now it will just hold position. What, at, when it's in loiter and you and you hit the throttle, look, look at that. that. That's pretty neat how. So that's it fighting the wind, which you'll notice that looks you know like I said it's gonna look a little rough yeah and so that's what you should expect but don't panic on it let it do its thing it will you know it'll save itself it'll it's save just itself. gonna be a little you know disoriented because yeah. it's it doesn't it, it doesn't have the good pit values and, and an auto tune will fix that look at the gimbal staying straight yeah that's, I know that's so cool. that's neat so this is me just flying it around in GPS hold What's good about that is I can move it around to any position that I want. Yeah. And then when I, I don't want, I just let go, it'll hold the position. And that's a pretty high wind that it's holding stable in, which is good. Okay. So, I mean, you can feel like that's the wind that it's holding in. Did you just turn it or it's turning? It kind of turned on its own, just fighting the wind. You know, and you can do a lot of the corrections for the wind while you're flying it even in GPS mode which is nice. So, I mean, is can, that is that the best mode to start off with? Yeah, I mean really cuz if you know then if you if you get disoriented you can just let go and it'll it'll save itself and then you can get your bearings back. Yeah. So, I mean that's just, you know, that's me flying it around in GPS hold. So, you can take it up it around, get a good shot or whatever. Yeah. What I do with mine. Bring it back down. And if you notice that it's kind of fighting wind, you may not necessarily want to start bringing it down because it doesn't have a lot of throttle and it'll it'll waver a little bit more. So you kind of try to like wait. You know, if it's wavering a little too much, you may want to give it a little bit more throttle to keep it from. You know, if it's fighting the wind, do you want to let it finish so you don't try and? Well, force it to fight. Well, you can you can kind of go against it, like because it's going to keep the copter level the best that it can. Uh huh. And so, like, I kind of fight it a little bit to help it out, um, but I, I just make really small movements. I don't make anything okay. huge. Okay. Okay. So. That's that's awesome doing like turning it like that. To have it turn like that, how are you doing the function down here? Okay, so up and down is, is the left stick, so yeah. this is lower throttle, upper throttle. Yeah. Rotate on the axis is this way. Left or to this right way. on the okay. Forward and back is uh -huh. this stick. Yeah. And then left and right is this stick. Okay. So and you, like I'm like I'm saying, this is me flying it, really tiny movements, nothing huge. You can make big movements and the quad's not gonna go too fast because it is in GPS hold in a different mode, you know. It, it'll react a little bit quicker and these things can get pretty quick very quick. oh yeah <laughs> okay uh, let's see 
now let's I'm gonna test the return to home. So let's put yeah. it in loiter. God, I hope this doesn't make a mess. So we'll go to altitude hold and then we're gonna go to return to launch. So it's gonna go up to the designated feet. And then it's gonna come. Was that designated height predetermined? Yeah, that's just default set. Default set. So this is me not touching the controller. And that was nine meters? Um, I don't know what it's set at right now. Okay. But it's not having a good time finding it. So that's definitely not normal.